Hey, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Strange Mind 6. I'm your host, Ruby, and today we're going to be getting back into Superstitions, a handbook of folklore, myths, and legends from around the world by D.R. McElroy. And before we begin, I would like to ask if you can please hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and without further ado my friends we're gonna be getting right into it so grab your snack or grab a drink and if not just sit back and relax and let's get to it shall we Eastern European Mythical Monsters Some of the most fantastical and intricate magical beasts and monsters come from this region. Baba Yaga Western Russia Not a specific witch, but rather a species of witch. Baba Yaga lives in the forest in a magical cottage that stands on chicken feet. Baba Yaga can fly through the air by use of a floating mortar and pestle which grinds the herbs of their magical spells. Baba Yaga have teeth made of iron and noses so long they can touch the roof of the cottage. The cottage is topped with the head of a rooster, maybe the same one that donated its feet for the cottage to stand on, and surrounded by a fence of human bones. These witches are understandably considered primarily evil, but their goodwill can be bought and their aid can be attributed to in individuals cause they might also take up the cause of a person just because they wish to bau bai lithuania bau bai singular bau bas are lithuanian boogeymen who hide in dark corners and spaces in the house, waiting to take naughty children away with them. Brosnia, Western Russia In Lake Brosno, there is said to live a giant beast with the head of a dragon and a long, thin, trailing tail. Comparison to the Loch Ness Monster abound, with some saying the two are related. There is speculation that this creature was responsible for the hasty retreat of the Mongol Tatar army from the area in the 8th century CE. It seems that they encountered a giant creature that ate horses and unlucky soldiers. Hasterman Poland A creature of Polish myth, the Hasterman, is an equal opportunity consumer of both children and adults. He walks along river banks on full moon nights and cries like a lost child, causing people to rush to him. He is also a cat lover and has a cart pulled by felines. When he's not eating people, he is said to knit clothes for the souls of those he consumed. Krakonach. I might be butchering the name and I do apologize with any of the names that I butcher in advance. 
this beast or mythical monster comes from Poland and the Czech Republic. A yeti like beast that lives in the mountains between Poland and the Czech Republic. Krakonach's mood can swing from wanting to eat everyone and everything in sight to acting as a helpful finder of lost hikers. Krampus Germany, Western Russia With its origin unknown, Krampus is the antithesis of Santa Claus. While Santa rewards good little children with presents and candy, Krampus punishes bad little children by whipping them with birch branches. If the children are especially naughty, Krampus will stuff them in his sack and carry them off to his lair, never to be seen again. Krampus is usually depicted as a demonic half-goat half man creature Pricolisi Romania A Romanian monster Pricolisi is said to be the soul of an evil man that animates the body of a wolf very similar to a werewolf vampire hybrid its reason for living is to create chaos and do harm. The creatures are enormous and are reported to be extra fond of holy men and priests. Rarak Czech Republic Known by many names, these nasty things are a type of rogue house spirit that has lost its desire to be helpful sometimes benign but frequently dangerous they are often the force behind household accidents that could turn fatal falling down the stairs cutting yourself with a knife etc rusalki russia singular Rusalka are fish-like or mermaid-like women who inhabit the waters of Russia. They are said to be the spirits of women who either committed suicide or who were murdered by their lovers. Rusalki can lure gullible men to a watery death by singing and then pulling them into the water, frequently by entangling the men with their hair and drowning them. The first full week of June is celebrated as Rusalka Week in Russia and is said to be the time when the creatures are most active. Rusalki appear to be I apologize. Rusalki appear as beautiful but eerie women who are soaking wet with water actively streaming from their hair and off of their bodies. They are generally found in lakes, ponds, and rivers as opposed to urban water sources. Strigoa, Romania. These are hideous creatures of Romanian myth, which may have given rise to the vampire. Strigoi are shapeshifters who can assume any form they wish, or become invisible to attack their human prey and drink their blood. They come in two different varieties, living Strigoi view which are like witches or vampires and undead strigoi mort which have risen from the grave strigoi arise through various means a person who dies before they marry 
a child born with a call, or someone whose dead body was walked on by a cat, can all be become Strigoi. They reportedly have red hair, blue eyes, and two hearts. They can shapeshift into animal forms to get close to people in order to drink their blood. It is from these creatures that Hollywood devised the various ways to kill vampires. A stake through the heart, sunlight, and garlic are all capable of taking down a strigoi. Urias, Russia. An example of post Christian mythology, the Urias were a race of giants that were the first people to inhabit the earth. They were said to have lived peacefully with humans when humanity first appeared, but they eventually caused war and conflict until God flooded the earth, saving only Noah and his family and the animals that were on the ark. Biblical giants are described in the Old Testament, in Genesis and elsewhere, as being from the sons of God and the daughters of humans. The term is used as Nephilim, which was and has been translated as giants, or alternatively as the fallen. So giants both predate humanity and yet a result of mating between angels and human women. Romanian mythology states that one can find buried treasure by seeking out the burial sites of Uras on the high holy days of Christmas Eve, Easter, and St. George's Day, April 23rd, on the Orthodox calendar. You will know these burial sites by the fires burning atop them. Vampire, Romania the most famous of all monsters, this Romanian nightmare creature arises from the earth each night to stalk the land and drink the blood of its helpless victims. Hollywood has glamorized the creatures to the point that they have become romantic objects desired by thousands of swooning teenage girls. Originally, these fiends reeked of death and the blood they consumed were able to shapeshift at will and could only be killed by ritualistic driving a, f a wooden stake through their bodies to pin them to the graves followed by cutting their heads from their bodies and burning them the legend of the vampire may have arisen from fear of some of the warlords of ancient times. Many of these overlords were rumored to be hideously cruel to their tenant farmers, taking all of their possessions to pay exorbitant taxes and murdering those who were unable to pay. The notorious Vlad Tepes also Vlad the Impaler or Vlad Dracula was the basis of Bram Stoker's a Bram Stoker's undead creature to Epis was rumored to be excessively cruel to the Transylvanian Saxon who opposed him, killing them all by having stakes driven through their bodies from throat through opposite end, and then displaying the impaled corpses outside of his castle. Transylvanians rewarded this behavior by figuratively turning Dracula into a mythical monster, later to Epis, attacked armies 
of Ottoman, Turks, and Bulgarians slaughtering them by the tens of thousands. Vladimir Ledenev Poor Vladimir is a kind of urban legend. His mummified remains were found inside his apartment six years after he unexpectedly went missing. He seen, it seems that no one had bothered to actually check out Vlad's apartment, but instead had simply knocked on the door, then walked away when he didn't answer. Meanwhile, Vlad was moldering on the other side of the door. When he was finally found, he was allegedly sitting at his kitchen table with an empty bottle of vodka in front of him. Vodyanyo, Russia, once again demonstrating the primal fear of water. Vodyanyo is a froggish beast that lives alone in bodies of water and acts to drown people. This creature is particularly linked with Christianity, carrying out his murderous missions on those who dare to swim on holy days, who forget to make the sign of the cross before taking a dip, or who have the audacity to swim after sunset. Zimes Slovakia Zimes, singular Zime, were mythical dragons of eastern and southern Slavs. They don't defend hordes of treasure like European dragons frequently do, but they are known to own palaces and have great wealth sequestered in far-off lands. They can speak and breathe fire as well as shapeshift into human form. They can be appeased with large offerings of gold or by the gifts of young maidens. Oh, and they often have multiple heads. Romanians call these dragons Belors. European Eastern European superstitions. In general, Eastern Europeans tend to be more superstitious than their Western counterparts. 50% of Russian people in a recent poll admitted that they modified their behavior to conform to superstitions or magical beliefs. Here are some interesting superstitions. Don't wear clothes inside out. Doing so raises the risk of you getting beaten up. If you do ac if you do so accidentally, but then immediately fix them to the right side out again, you can escape a thrashing if you ask someone to whack you on the back. Flowers must only be gifted in odd numbers, so your bouquet can have 13 flowers but not 12. Giving even numbered flowers will put off the recipient, seeing as Russians only take even numbers of flowers to cemeteries. If you are to the halfway point on a journey, do not turn around and go back home or ill luck will befall you. If you forgot something vital and you must return, look in a mirror before leaving the house and resuming your journey. Never shake hands over a threshold. Also never hug or kiss over it. There's a house spirit that lives there, and your actions in his space might disturb him, and that's a bad idea. Instead, step inside the house 
then make your greetings. Similar to some Chinese gifts giving certain household objects can be problematic for example given an object with a sharp edge like a knife or scissors can lead to arguments with the recipient it's possible to avoid this by charging the recipient a ruble for the gift thereby turning it into a sale and changing its nature Gifting a handkerchief can cause tears, while gifting an empty purse is bad luck. A purse should have a coin or other monetary amount in it so the recipient is never poor. Sit between two. People in the same people with the same name. To get lucky. Popular names are very common in Russia. So if there are two Ivans or two Natashas at a party, get in between them and make a wish and it will come true. Of course, don't tell anyone what you wish for. Salty foods means that the cook has fallen in love, so don't complain about it. Don't lick a knife. Doing so will turn you into an evil person, likely a liar, since we know that liars have split tongues. If someone wishes you good luck, your reply must be to, to heck with that, or some version of that. Thanking someone for wishing you luck will cause misfortune. Other versions of this myth state that the first person should never actually say good luck, but instead should say the Russian equivalent of no fur, no feathers, to which you would give the same to heck with that response. In a similar fashion, performers traditionally say break a leg to each other before going on stage to ensure a good performance. Never leave empty bottles on the table. Whether your party's tab is determined by the number of empties or you're following the tradition of finishing every bottle that is open, empties should be put on the floor beneath the table. All members of a traveling party must sit down together briefly before moving on. This ensures that everyone will have a safe trip. Knock on wood is big in Russia. They don't say it out loud and they mime spitting over their left shoulder three times symbolically spitting in the devil's eye. If there's no wood around, they'll knock on their own heads. If you accidentally step on someone's foot, expect your own to get stepped on as well. It is believed that returning the same offense to the offender prevents any future fights between you. Do not walk on opposite sides of a pole if you are with a friend or loved one, doing so means that the relationship will end. Make sure that both of you pass a pole on the same side. Hiccups mean someone is thinking about you. Whistling indoors is very bad luck, and it can lead to you losing all your money. Single people should never sit at the corner of the table or they will never get married children are exempt from this never sit directly on the cold ground because it will make you infertile this rule is particularly true for women sitting on a blanket or other ground cover is okay 
Never wish someone a happy birthday before the actual date, lest misfortune befall on them. Likewise, don't celebrate your own birthday before the actual date. And that, my dear friends, is where we're going to leave it off. The next chapter is Western Europe. Celtic gods and goddesses. And with that, my dear friends, this has been Ruby signing off. And may you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night, whenever this video reaches you. Again, this has been Ruby, signing off, goodbye.